G'day. In today's video, I'm replacing the display on a HP Envy 15. This particular one has the model number 15-EE1024AU. And I've had this sitting on my blue heat pad here for around about, around about 15 minutes, just heating up the display to a very hot touch. And from here, I should be able to take this bit off here and hopefully fold the screen up, pull it towards me and lift it out. Or at least that's what I'm hoping for. It doesn't necessarily always go that way. So that trim's lifting, which is good. Right in here as well. I'll go on the hinge. Go. That's a bit better. And the plastic one. Go across here. I can just pull this out from the top as well. There we go. Click, click, click. We're separating. Now I can feel the adhesive that's already there. The screen is already broken, so I'm not too concerned about that. Yeah, we'd see one pull tab right here. Pull that up and towards the camera. One. Go to the other side. Pull it open just a fraction. And I can just see it there, that white bit just here. And that is now dropped. I'll rotate around this way. Just doing that so the whole, all of the screen can get heated up right now. I'll wiggle this down slightly. What I'm wanting to do is heat up the webcam just so that comes out. They tend to like to snap because they're a very thin PCB or circuit board. And that seems to be doing it. There we go. Peel this back. There we go. Now my replacement one. Strangely doesn't look to contain a touch screen. Should be the case. And as I say that, they're taped up here. So from here, I'm wanting to lift up this tape. And lift up that tape. Yeah, and pull on the screen, connect it backwards and up and out of the way. Next up is the challenge of this one. Just 
disconnect here, disconnect here, disconnect. This connector that's currently out of view. Sorry guys. This one here. Go. That screen should be right to be moved away. And now this is still being used, worked on under heat. So I reckon should be able to swap this over pretty easily to the new one. Fold that out. Fold this up. And we're off. The adhesive has stayed stuck on here. So what I should be able to do is move this one, or leave that one. And I should be able to put the new one down. Take this off. Make this replicate this one. By the looks of it, this tape has to come off. These fold down. This goes on here. There we go. Fold over. Should be able to push into under the pins here. This has been quite tricky. So I might cheat with this one and do it slightly different. If I can get this to come back up. And this is being ridiculously tricky. I'm going to say that one side slid in. That other side slid in. Great. Lock it down. Make sure it's in. Lock it down. Fold it into position. I'll have to bend this part out of the way. Push that down, there we go. Now I've got that basically the same as what this one was. By the way, here's the new screw display that I'm using. Granted, since it's got glass and a touch panel, that's kind of irrelevant. And now while still working with heat, I'll slide up the old one. Now it's a matter of feeding it in. Fold it over. So it's going to be a bit tricky to capture all of this on film, sorry. Actually, if I rotate my table around, one second. kind of in position. Just trying to line these pins up. Slide this connection in. There we go, get you guys a bit closer. off as it's just being a pain in the ass. Slide this up.
pull up. There we go. That one is now connected. Just make it over the top now. Working away down to here. I want to connect this into here. It should be a lot easier than the other connector. The touch PCB is now reconnected. And next up we need to rerun the webcam. So since it's sticky, I'll probably stick start up here. Line up to where it needs to go. There we go. Work this back. That should be close to where we need it to be. From here, I should be able to pull off these tabs on the back and stick that screen into position. I need to take this greeny bit, blue bit off there, and same on the other side. From here, I should just be able to fold this screen up. This bit of plastic getting stuck in here. Just be able to get it in the grooves down the bottom. Line it up. Hold it flat and just work our way into the grooves. Come along the bottom here too. Click, 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 click. There we go. That's how you can replace the touch panel in your HP 15 EE. Hope that helps. And I'll see you guys later. Bye.